All right, boys, how we doing? Hope everything's good. Dalton Kincaid, Utah tight end, 6'4", 240, senior. Rounds one and two is projections uh, where PFF has it. I've mocked Dalton Kincaid, and I've already looked into him, so this, I'm not watching this fresh with y'all. Um, I've already seen him. I have a mocked uh, first round to the Chiefs at the back end, right? Because if we remember, we were on the clock, right? The... That AFC Championship, Travis Kelsey had back problems, and there was like confusion on if he was going to be a play, able to play that game. Bring in Dalton Kincaid. Travis is still getting older to where when he leaves, you still have the 27 year old. Probably by the time um, by the time Kelsey retires, uh, Mahomes could be 30 years old. So the next three years, and you already have a well seasoned tight end that can literally. Like they're when we watch them, they they look so similar in their play styles. Um, third ranked tight end PFF has him, so that's Luke Musgraves, Michael Merritt, that number one spot. Those two tight ends are better than him. I don't necessarily fully agree if that Luke is better. I think I slightly would have Dalton ahead of Luke, uh, but Michael Merritt is my tight end number one. Um, I wish I saw more of Darnell Washington, but we'll get into that another day. After spinning his first two college seasons at the San Diego, the San Diego, where he averaged 18.9 yards per catch in 2019, Kincaid transferred to Utah. He played just 99 snaps in his first season in the Pac-12, but quickly became a very key part of the team's offense. Soon after, he played 669 snaps in his second season at Utah, and eight of his 36 receptions resulted in a touchdown. That's incredible. Um, I don't want to do the math. I'm gonna do the math live. 836 four. 18, two, two ninths, right? So every nine receptions, he scored two touchdowns. So that's that's an interesting way to look at it. Um, his final season showed that he could be a very key contributor and has led the team with 70 receptions for 890 yards and eight scores. So he's already showing that Kelsey pedigree of being able to get open, um, I, I have seen him, so yards as a cat. Like, I'm, when we get into the, he's Kelsey, right? I like progression 2020, 79.8, 2021, 79.2. So that was that transfer from 2020 to 2021. We transferred, right? And then in 2022, a 90 PFF grade. So skyrockets almost 11 points, right? Um, which is like, let's, what are we talking about? That's great. He's had some slot snaps. Um, 70 receptions to 30, 93 targets, um, eight touchdowns, 12.7 yards per catch. Pros looks like a receiver who just so happens to be a tight end size, very easy mover, attacks the ball in traffic the way you wish everyone would. The ball is his very willing blocker, despite his size, gets after it. So that's, you know, when a tight end is 6'4", 240, and he's a willing blocker, all you're really saying is, He's very technical and he has a lot of effort. And that's what we want from our tight ends. Still doesn't have ideal tight end size. Would be one of those leagues, want to be the league's smallest starters. That's fine. I mean, I don't even think, I mean, how big is Kelsey really? I don't even think Kelsey's that big. So not any elite athlete by any means, despite being undersized. Older prospect will turn 24 as a rookie. That's a con for me. By the time he's up for a contract, he's 28. But the thing is, with tight ends, but to, I mean, depending if he's a first rounder, wait, no, no, he's not gonna be top ten. So it's great. the thing is with tight ends, um, it takes them like three years to really get going, honestly. So um, only rarely do we see tight ends come in their pause, uh, enter the league in the first two seasons and off the rip, right? Um, usually, for the most part, it does take them some time. Um. But I like so like 2021, eight touchdowns, 2022, eight touchdowns. I like that he's able to get in the end zone. We need that. Two drops, right, in 2022. That's amazing. Um, what else? Missed tackles, 16 third uh, in the league. Dennis Pitta is his PFF. I've, I've also, the player comp thing that they do, it's, 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 it has to be like, so put it in the machine put stats because i don't see dennis pitta when i see don Kincaid, respectfully uh deep catches six deep yards um 
187, nine contested catches. Um, so that's all good stuff. Where he wins, natural receiving ability. Kincaid has all the untouched, uncoachable aspects of being a being a receiver in spades. In spades, I, I think spaces. Whether it's adjusting to balls, pause, setting up defenders, or subtle movements after the catch, Kincaid has all of it. His role, move tight end. Um, I know that move tight end ends where we're a relative fad that has been phased out in recent years, but Kincaid has enough ability to make an impact. If he were qualified as a receiver alone, that should be the bar for the move tight end designation. Um, so being a move tight end, a tight end that can go into the X, that can go into the backfield, and you can move in the slot. A tight end that you can move everywhere is where tight, move tight end is. Uh, where he can improve muscle mass. A dog. That's what the league is for. He's going to get bigger. So that's why I don't really like when they talk about how about Nakon being a size. It's like everyone's going to get bigger in the NFL. So we don't have to harp on it too much, but it's worth noting that there are only three tight ends in the NFL last season that listed at 240 pounds or below. It's not unheard of, but he's he's a relative outlier. He's going to gain weight. Like, clearly he's that good that they're fitting this in when they know that he's that good. So that's it. So some more is going to come out for him. So let's get into the film. Super excited. All right, here we go. This is his game against USC. Um, here he is up here in the slot right here. Let's get it. All right, push it off the line. A little hitch. Give it to me now. All right. Takes two to tangle. Takes two to take him down. You love that. All right. Here he is right here on the inline. Go in. Go, give me it. Yep. Turn up. Turn up. Oh, some yards after catch. Getting physical at the end. I like it. So, I don't think it's a zone. Man, no, it's a zone. And he's just showing he's open. And he doesn't look very... I've seen receivers that are as big as he is, kind of. So, just give him, just give him a little bit more weight. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, this is him hiding right here, I believe. Yep. Little block. Little gimme it now. Picks up three. Is his job. All right. Back in the slot. What we got. Show me at five. Catch it, turn up, broken tackle, gets an extra. That's a 15-yard play. That was a hitch. Let's look at this. Off the line, hitch, give it to me now. Pop. Right? Three defenders around him. He should be stopped right here. Missed tackle for my corner. Tackle with your head up. Picks up another 10 extra yards. Good stuff. All right. Second, sorry. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at, Dalton? Here we go, right here in line. Was this a seam? Nope. A little in or no? Sorry, a little a little stop at ten yards. Catches it. Takes a big hit. Comes down with it. Still, we're going. We're going. Two minute warning. He's right here in the slot again. Going a little bit deeper. Deep shot. When you see all ribs at 6-4, you have a linebacker or a safety where his, with the with his back to the quarterback. Quarterbacks love that. And all he has to do is extend so greatly where he shows all those ribs. Look at all this. How many guys can reach? Look at this linebacker. He can't even contest in any way, shape, or form. That that line what can that linebacker do? Absolutely nothing. Comes down with it. Great catch. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I wonder if that's considered. No, that's good. That can't be considered contested. But good ball. Good quarterback read. Good catch, Dalton. Here we go. Another look. Let's slow it down. Here he is in the slot. Pushes off the line of scrimmage. I mean, uh, I mean, his only knock, I guess, is size. He's He's literally moving and catching like a receiver. 
looking back at the ball, understanding that he has an advantage easily size-wise, receiving-wise over a linebacker. Ball's in the air. Nothing that linebacker can do. That is that's just so good. Here he is right here. Pushes off the line. Going deeper. Turn me up. Oh! Is he out of bounds? Oh, he's smiling. I think he caught it. I think he knows he caught it. Let's pause. Let's pause. Let's see it. Let's slow it down. I think he caught it. They don't really be smiling like that if he didn't catch it. So, corner, right? So, he's supposed to be a, he's supposed to be a tight end, and they're comparing him to a bigger receiver, and he's matched up with a, a, a slot corner because, remember, he was in the slot. Goes up. This corner is trying to do anything he can at this point. Two hands. Bop. Gets a foot. Come on. Come down. That's a reception. Dalton Kincaid, you carry it all the way to the ground. Oh, well, they gave it to him. He did. All right. So I think this is him over here on this side. Yeah. Oh, low. Man, those fake block things, especially in Madden, are so infuriating. And it looks like he's great at doing it here. Easy touchdown. Right? So a little show block, show down, play action, crash everything down to the left, get those linebackers up, uh, up the field, and then get those safeties eyes in the background, in the backfield, turn up, touchdown, good work. Oh, he kissed him! Dalton, you, you, you're so, oh, you're nasty, Dalton. You're a little nasty one. Here we go. And this lot up here, pushes off the line, show me at five, catches it, boom. Broken tackle again. No one can tackle him one-on-one, -on -one, I guess, so far. So why are we talking about undersize, PFF? Why do y'all keep bringing that up? That, that was actually kind of infuriating, talking about his size so much. Look at this USC linebacker. Can't even bring him down. It is the Pac-12. And gets another, what, 18 yards? Catches it at five? Boom. This is five yards from the line of scrimmage. Look where he ends up. Boom. Should be down right here. One tackle. Nope. Turns up. Two guys then try to tackle him. He's at 10 yards at this point, guys. 15 yards at this point. Goes down at like 19. I don't, I don't care about this undersized thing. I literally do not care. He is right here. Empty set. So just depending on so let's I mean let's take a let's take a shot at the defense. So this could be a cover four or a cover two that the defense is doing. Um could be a man show zone um with this nickel on top of him. Or sorry, with this linebacker right here. This linebacker could be in man. Highly doubt it. Highly doubt they would be so dumb to do that, but let's see. Just showing right here. What is it? Seven yards, showing your numbers, get there immediately. Oh my gosh. It's just. <gasps> I just want to see this. Shuts it down at seven. Shuts it down. Wait, it's third and seven. Shuts it down at what, six? Maybe we're not even getting to the. No, he, he gets the line of scrimmage. Boom. Right? Tackle him. He should be down. <laughs> Breaks two tackles. Turns up a little bit. Oh, my days. Here we go right again. Slot at the top. Show again five yards. Breaks some guy's ankles. One guy that I used to see do this a lot, his name runs with Kark Sandrews. Mark Andrews out of Oklahoma would always do this. The first guy he would always make miss. Always. I like that. Bengals go get him, please. There he is right here. This is that. This is that catch we saw earlier. Showing ribs. Boom. Coming down with it. He dominates this game right here. Deep ball. Gets that foot down. Little fake block. Shows out late. Slips out. Touchdown. He's good. 
he is good. All right, I believe this is him right here. Just a little drag route, shows numbers, catches it, turns up. It's a first down. Takes a guy for a ride a little bit. All right, where we at? Right here in the slot, in line. Pushes off the line of scrimmage. Boom, boom. Shuts it down. First and 10. Shuts it down at 9. Comes back, comes back to the ball. Linebacker. Good tackle. Good tackle. That was almost not a good tackle. This is him right here in the slot. See, it's like he's 6'4", but he, he is kind of tough to point out with his receivers. It is kind of tough. Pushes off the line. This nickel's already on him, so there must be some type of probably... Hey, don't let this guy get open. And he just shoves him off, shows numbers, gets the first down. Please show it again in slow-mo. If you don't, I'll do it. They're not going to do it. Oh, they're going to do it. Here we go. So whether this is a safety or a corner, it does not matter at all. Right? Pushes off the line of scrimmage. Safety corner is doing great getting hands on him. And then just when, when they're fidgeting like that, tight end can just push him off. Turns up. He gets the first down. It's just easy for him right now. This is a good game plan also that they're doing. And look at that, guys. One thing I love harping on, that C on that chest. That C on that chest means so much. So, And he's a transfer. Can you imagine getting a C on your chest as a transfer and then not playing a lot of snap snaps your previous year when you got there? It's important. Um, this is not him. I think this is him. Yeah. All right. So a little slip right here. A little slip underneath. Show me it. Give me it. Third and one. Turn up. Showing some speed there. Still takes three guys to take him down. Be hurt. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh no. Get up. He's up. Where are we at? Where are you at, Dalton? He is kind of tough to find with all these receivers. I believe he's right here. Yeah. So he's already pushing. I bet there's going to be some type of wheel route. Oh, no. Stops it at five. Just sees the open zone. Shuts it down. Taking four guys to take him down. So good stuff all around, right? Um, like I said, I like him a lot. I, I see Travis Kelsey. I don't see Mark Andrews because he's not as big as Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews is massive right i don't see dennis Pitta. that's a, that's just not a name i would think of um but yeah i mean i think he shows great ability to get open i think he understands concepts um open zones i think he understands when to shut it down um i think he understands the first down marker which a lot of people mess up a lot like being able to find that first down marker and understanding that if it's third and ten and i can't have you shutting it down at seven or eight Shut it down at nine, come back to the ball at eight, try to force it um, at, at the 10 mark and get the first down. Or, you know, going all the way to the 10, but, you know, sometimes you don't have enough time to make that one or two extra yards. But, um, like I said, I don't know if I have Luke Musgraves ahead of him. I think the way PFF sees it is that Luke Musgraves is 6'6", 250. So, and he's crazy athletic. And he's really good. Luke Musgraves is very good. But I'm I'm not I'm not so sold on the fact that a receiving tight end, a move tight end today still can't be a prominent position in certain schemes on certain teams. If we have or you know, I'm a Bengals fan, guys. If Dalton Kincaid can work in Cincinnati, um Dalton Kincaid could work in Dallas. If you have enough of a running game threat um with a good defense to where you can play slow with play action. You know how he was he was down blocking a lot and then uh, releasing how he was able to get into that five to ten yard cushion where Dak really thrives and Joe Burrow with that short medium um, their accuracies with that and of course you know I'm, I'm gonna add the Chiefs in there too as well but I think for certain schemes he's great maybe maybe not like a power run team but I mean how many of those are in the league today but I, I don't know. I, I think he's number two to Michael Mayer. I think Michael Mayer is kind of like slightly in a class of his own because I think he fits on multiple teams. Dalton Kincaid and Luke Musgraves are fits. Um, I think Darnell Washington is also a guy that can play on any team. 
I think he's just special, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, describe. Let me know what you guys think of Don Kincaid. I think he's I think he's excellent. Um peace out, guys.